What is up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Red7. Regarding the patch 0.13 in Tarkov, there are some things I want to mention in this short video. As I also watched the trailer and was a bit disappointed of what I saw, but then I thought about it and came to some conclusions which I want to share with y'all. Keep watching and you will get my point. First of all, the content creation time of the devs is limited and you can see this in this video. Mostly some random gear put together with some small exceptions and the crew of players following the same concept we see all over again in BSG's videos as a sort of motif. Two or three different teams approaching the same objective, meeting up somewhere in the middle of the map and interacting in different ways violently or not as we can see in this video we have seen this in the interchange trailer on reserve now on streets in my opinion it's the same mind behind the same videos why well it has to be nikita's take on how to create a trailer or someone else's view who's in charge of the video production at bsg good bad everybody should decide for themselves for me it's a bit tiresome we all would be happy to see a change here right something adapted to the times we are living but again that is my opinion agree or disagree with it not a problem there note this it is not about the content creation skills of the team as we have seen better trailers put together in my opinion, it's about time. The guys want to provide the content as soon as possible and they dedicate less time to other tasks like content creation, especially now that EFT is a mastodon and they don't have to prove themselves on the market. Everybody knows that Tarkov is the shit, and we have seen this from the beginning with Tarkov. How many of you guys remember those production videos where the devs dedicated hours and hours to prove the world they are serious, they want to provide a quality product? A lot of them, right? There is no more time allocated for such things in Tarkov. Only some official streams from time to time where we see Damirka, like literally the representation of the majority of us failing in Tarkov. Again, we see Damirka playing some Tarkov while Nikita is teasing us with some content here and there or some Nikita appearances on different channels. Again, good, bad, you decide that. Number two would be Nikita's intention to let us discover things on our own and not spoiling big surprises. And Streets is such a surprise. This strategy can become successful if the new map kicks ass. Then all the focus will be on what amazing job the devs with, with, did with creating it, right? And that will attract positive vibes towards the game and more and more players either returning or come to Tarkov for the first time. That is why we don't see anything new regarding the new bosses and that new cool BTR, nor regarding new traders, new mechanics, new extractions and new map spots. Either that, or the first iteration of Streets is extremely basic, but I don't think so. We shall see though. Now having played a lot of games these last months and having followed multiple development processes like Star Citizen patches or Modern Warfare 2 or The Cycle and so on, I've seen both sides of the coin. The hype being created for knowing exactly what's about to come in the new patch of Star Citizen, but also not knowing almost anything about a new Modern Warfare patch. Can you clearly tell which one of the strategy is better? I will tell you what, it's on player's end to decide which route is best. Some like knowing, some don't. But what we don't need to forget, guys, is Tarkov is a different animal and cannot be compared to other games out there, even though other games have copied Tarkov. But Tarkov as a whole is definitely not a completely original product. We also see things taken 
into Tarkov or brought into Tarkov from other games. But I digress, that's a different subject for a different video. Also very important, Tarkov does not come from the same old Western production gaming side, but it comes from a different part of the world where the world view is different, similar to some of the Japanese games, which are so different than the Western side games, right? Don't forget that aspect, it's important. So what are we going to see in this patch? Or what have we seen in the trailer? There is a lot of speculation about this and that, but I know for sure that the patch will not disappoint. Why? Well, which one of the new map patches was bad? Well, you may say a reserve was awful because of the bad performance. True, but the content was amazing. And as performance went up, did the map get worse? Nope, it went better, right? Same will happen here. What else? Well, the map will be huge and awesome to be in. Wide streets. Have you seen all those details they put into it? All that garbage and destruction, all those juicy loot spots? Amazing, right? Lighting is cool as well. Graphics are clear and polished. There is quality here. I can see it. I can smell the success of this map. I tell you, new beginnings in Tarkov are the best. So, disappointing trailer? Yes, but we know that behind that poorly created trailer, there are tons and tons of working hours and who knows how many weekends at the desk. Disappointing trailer? Maybe, but we know how passionate these devs are to provide the good stuff, so it's fine. That is what I was thinking of since I watched the trailer and that is what I want to share with you guys. I know them they will provide. This has been Red7 who came back from his hiatus. If you want to sub, then do it, it's free. If not, then don't. God bless you and listen to a veteran's advice. Do not rush leveling up in Tarkov if you want to have a long life. Don't follow the trend. Burnout is inevitable. Trust me, I have been there. Peace.